mushrooms, kegels, barbie jeep, alpha male. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, people. Yeah. Welcome, humans. Episode 27 of Is We Dumb? Moving right along. Joe Paisley. Dan Cummins. And what the fuck is this? Okay. Can we start right here? Okay. Uh, is- throw it up on the screen, Zach. Do you know what the fuck this is? That looks, like, that looks like Mothman. So this is Harpy Eagle. Whoa. I shouldn't say this is. It is a Harpy Eagle. He's not the only one. His that name's like, not Harpy. That, that looks like a little person sitting up in the tree. So they can get 20 pounds. Whoa. Uh, they are in Central and South America. Oh, okay. Uh, their talons are bigger than grizzly bear can- uh, claws. claws. Wow, mm-hmm. he does have some big old talons. And they can kill like small deer and they eat monkeys and pick them out of the trees in the rainforest. Can you imagine seeing- Fucking- a fucking what? An owl man <laughs> grabbing a monkey out of a tree? Right. I would think I'd lost my mind. And what I'm most mad about- Yeah. I didn't. How did I not know this thing even existed? I didn't know it existed either. Are they in danger? Do you remember? No. You don't know? They they're, make, not, they're not? No. And they make bald eagles look like sissy bitches. And that's I just look, crazy. It's like now bald eagles can just go away. That's I, an, bring these in. <laughs> What's it called again? Harpy eagle. A harpy eagle. Mm-hmm. It looks almost like an owl. It looks, it's scary shit. If you, it, we will post the picture up on our socials. Yeah. But if you just go uh, to the dummies out there listening right now, if you just go to the internet. Yeah. Visit the website. And type in Harpy Eagle. Harpy Eagle. And you'll see it and you'll have your mind absolutely bro- absolutely blown. That's impressive. For a second there, I was like, is that what spawned the Mothman legend? But then there, <laughs> yeah, and, and I've done an episode on Mothman, so I was like, I don't remember that thing. Could have been. But it's, but no, it's only Central and South America. Right. So right, let's, let's do what, one more peek at this thing. Zach, can you bring it up on the screen? Look at this thing. Look that at it! fucking scary <laughs> It is looking. so scary. Okay, now I can move that on with my life. That is impressive. Yeah. Anyway. You can what see where all the superstitions bird. of the past came from. There's right. people in the trees. Oh, that's a monster. Right, exactly. Uh, follow Is We Dumb. Speaking of those socials, Facebook and Instagram at Is We Dumb. We have that private Facebook group, Is We Dummies, which is well over 3,000 dummies now. Well, fun. It's it's a good fast. start. It's, yeah. a, it's a perfect, like I said last week or the week before, a perfect shit show. Perfect. I love it in there. If you want to send in some segment content, you can do that at dumb at isweedumb.com. If you have a question about me or Zach or Dan or Logan or like yeah. about your friends, mm-hmm. anything that's not segment content, info at iswedumb.com. Thanks to that truck for driving by. Mm-hmm. That was great of him. Uh, we have <laughs> links to the videos. Anything we, we feel like you need to see, we'll put that in the episode description. So you can go and find that. You can get our merch at badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com. And any merch related questions, email store at badmagicproductions.com. Perfect. We got a, we got a gift. What? Uh, yeah, we got we got this nice wood cutting. Yes, it is pyrography. It is sent in by dummy Eugene Barnhart, and he said that he picked up a new hobby uh-huh. uh, during COVID. And what's it called? Uh, pyrography. I don't. I've never heard of that. Yeah, so you burn it in. You can see here's Brad. Oh, 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 oh. A little fart coming out. You got the gasoline <laughs> and the gas Jeez. can. I uh, got the chicken with the arms. You got the the fire wasps. <laughs> yep. I. Uh, Backside. Ah, uh, that's so cool. You got more burned into it. You got the chocolate butthole, <laughs> accordion legs, and your long ass belly button dick. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty good. I got the logo on there. So thank that's, you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's thanks, really Jamie. Cool. Appreciate that. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna start the the segment or the show off by getting warmed up a little bit. I was just gonna Vanna White it for a while. Just, you can I'll do just that. hold it on my chest. There's no problem with that. Uh, let's get the very super most important starting question taken care of. Okay. Okay. The very super most important starting question. This was sent in by Dummy David, and um, I don't know which one I would pick. Uh, Both of these I hate. Okay. Would you rather eat plain mashed potatoes for a year straight or wear noticeably damp socks for an entire year? I have have a quick answer. (laughs) I love mashed potatoes. Okay. Plain mashed potatoes? Okay. First, okay. Plain, plain. So Mm -hmm. no butter. No mm-hmm. salt, just mashed potatoes every fucking meal. I don't know that it would be no butter. Well, okay, to make mashed potatoes, uh, you have to put some milk. You don't have to put shit in it. You just smash up potatoes. But is that mashed potatoes? It is. Or is that just a, I think, a s- smashed uh, potato? If <laughs> if you if I opened up a recipe book, right, and it just and you wanted just mashed potatoes, right, I mean, it'd just be like a picture of like smashed potatoes. That'd be it. <laughs> That's it. It's got like the, the the flavoring is all butter and salt. Yeah, and whatever and a else, milk, a little milk, put a little sour cream, fluff them up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You don't get to do that. It's just smashed mashed potatoes. Okay, that is pretty. Uh, okay, if it's just <laughs> nothing but the potato 
warm and smashed. I mean, wait a week. Mm -hmm. I, I start getting pretty sad. Yeah. But if I'm a couple months in, my alarm clock goes off and I go, God damn it. Got some smashed potatoes again. Got some smashed potatoes for breakfast. And what was the other choice? Damp socks? Ooh, damp socks for an entire year. Like noticeably damp. Socks. damp. Noticeably damp socks. Which is terrible. <laughs> uh, do you get mad about it as much as I do? And I hate it, especially <sighs> in the winter. Yes. Uh, we got little kids. Even I don't like to immediately take my shoes off when I mm -hmm. go in my house. But with the little puddles that are all over the place... Right. Nothing makes things worse than you're just do, 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 and you go, oh, and you just slop into a, a snow puddle. Yep. And I have to factor in for me personally, I've been dealing with a, a toenail fungus situation for several years <laughs> that I'm just started to kind of uh, achieve a victory over. And the only cure is smashed potatoes. You know, <laughs> but if I had to wear a damp sock, I'm sure it'd become raging back. <laughs> right. And like, and like, I've been putting this special magical prescription nail polish <laughs> on my big toenail for six months straight, every but, single day. But it's getting better. It's getting better. Like, I, and then once a week, I have to scrub it off with toenail polish remover. I have to fight. I have to, I have to do all this care for it. And if I would not risk setting that back by wearing damn socks, I would just suck it up and eat my dry potatoes <laughs> every day for a year oh. to not have to deal with a toe situation getting even worse. That's so much. And I, I'm a big fan mm -hmm. of, of, toes uh, of, of, of your toe. <laughs> I love nail polish. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, big fan of mashed potatoes. Yeah. I I would be down to have them in conjunction with all the meals that I have. Mm -hmm. For the most part, I mean, pizza and mashed potatoes might be a little weird. <laughs> I'd fucking do it. I don't care. Probably delicious yourself. Uh, but if it was just that. Yeah. Hey, hey Joe, you want to go grab lunch today? No. No, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. And I sat at my desk. <laughs> just, <laughs> just gumming them. And oh, you don't even have to so chew much water. That's the saddest part. But if it's so dry, if there's no butter or anything... <laughs> It's probably kind of hard to swallow because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's 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 mashed, but it's like powder. It's like powder potatoes. It's so dry. <laughs> but it's a new because if you don't add any liquid, nothing to it. I mean, at least like the some of the water that you boil them in, you're supposed to throw that back in for a little mm. extra flavor. But usually that's salt. I think you can make <sighs> that too. You can make the consistency. Like water is probably fine. That's pretty plain. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if if it's if it, it is digestible, right? It's not. It's not just dried up <laughs> potato flakes. Uh huh. Because that's because that's not mashed potatoes. So, okay, there's a little bit of water in there, but no butter, nothing else, no salt. Mm. Ah, I'd fight through it for mm. a, year. Be a year because it's one meal a day, huh. right? I think that's like once a day, as opposed to damp socks all day. Well, if that's it, no, it's. It, I mean, it's eat plain mashed potatoes for a year straight. So every single oh, meal, every meal, is every mashed, meal is, is going to be. Potatoes. Yeah, think about a celebratory mm. dinner. Uh, your, it's your birthday, and everyone's right. going out, uh, and they just get to eat your cake, and you eat mashed potatoes. <laughs> It's a five with star candles. restaurant. What's that? With candles on it. With candles. Just, oh, just candles stuck in it. Enjoy, everybody. Uh, oh. On my behalf. Sorry, I'm on a diet. You're on a what? Are you eating mashed? Yes, yeah, it's a mashed potato diet. I Now I feel like had I not had this toe situation. Wet socks. I would do the wet socks. But, I might be able to get used to wet socks. But knowing what I know about toes, my toes, mm. I'm just not willing to risk it. I love your fucking toe. <laughs> you ever thought about just cutting it off? Uh, no, I've definitely thought about just having the toenail, uh, ripped out just in frustration. Okay. Not me doing it per with anesthetic. Yeah. I'm not that tough, <laughs> but I've talked to the doctor about like, let's just get rid of it. Right. And that's the plan. If it doesn't, if it doesn't turn the corner further, it's gone. It's gone forever. It's gone. Well, hopefully not forever. Hopefully it grows back. Zach. Could you, I'm sorry. Could you just wear sandals? I mean, maybe. Is With that also a, like, is that a workaround? Then, but then you got damn socks. Then you're, then you, <laughs> then you're wearing the, what is it? Lindsay has a term for it. It's, it's like Ninja Polish. Turtle? No, it's like a Polish thing. It's like Polish something is uh, white socks and sandals. Mm. I nice. guess it's like very like dad bod <laughs> yes. look for sure. I feel like, I feel like the white socks with sandals are like little, is it, you just completely given up. Yeah. It, it's like uh, Velcro shoes, you know, whatever. You just like, you don't fucking care right. about fashion. Exactly. Um, just because I, I feel like I could be happier Eating a high range of food, a mm -hmm. variety of food throughout the year, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go with the with the wet socks. Okay, so I have we're, to. we're different. Okay, so you're gonna go with the wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be eating whatever you want. You're probably rubbing that in my face, but then I'll be like, man, my feet feel good today. <laughs> right. I'll just be wearing like you know sandals, whatever, like no socks. Just like, oh man, look at that it's dry. It feels so good. <laughs> But then you grab like, my socks. Oh man, we got the driest feet in town. We just me meanwhile, you're having a steak though. Be like, I don't know, man. Steak tastes pretty good. Okay, well, potatoes. Hey, pass the mashed potatoes. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> no, not those ones. Uh, the ones that I like to eat. <laughs> the ones, the ones with, the, with the butter and with, the bacon bits. Right next to your yeah. shit ones. <laughs> next to your bullshit, right there. Hand those my way. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, that's a tough one. Uh, this one, mm -hmm. fine. We're that's different for anybody. <laughs> that's for anybody too. <laughs> we have to win lose. Win lose. You decide, dummies. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at is we dumb? Yes. 
Oh, man. We had some fun. I saw you on the mountain this past weekend. We were doing some skiing, some snowboarding. Yep. Third third time ever for yeah. Kyler, Kyler and me. Lindsay Monroe out after one one day. Be like, then, this is stupid. <laughs> right. This, then, then, it's gone. <laughs> and the day before, we, we did like a little weekend out for the first time, just a standpoint near here. Mm-hmm. And, and I had, uh, none of us had ever been on a snowmobile before. Right. So we did this little snowmobile kind of rental tour thing. <laughs> and uh, the dumb thing, one of the dumb things I did was about halfway through. It was like an hour and a half ride. It was probably like 15 degrees out when we did yeah. it uh, up on the hill and um, sunny, but, you know, cold. And Kyler was sitting behind me. Monroe was sitting behind Lindsay. Uh, so we just got the two snowmobiles and our little uh, train of other people who had been on the same trip. And then Kyler starts whining halfway through. Like, he would stop every once in a while and let you get out and take a picture. Mm-hmm. And he's like, man, my hands are cold. And I thought nothing of it because when he was younger, not so much in the last six months to his credit, but such a whiny kid. Yeah. Like, you know, I've made fun of it on on stage before. Mm-hmm. Just cry about everything. And so I was just like, whatever, uh, whatever. And then kind of teasing him. And then we make it back after we're done to the uh, the little like rental shed, go inside to return our gear. And he's like, my hands are really cold. And his hands are a little red. Right. And I'm like, okay, yeah, they're cold, but I've had cold hands the whole time. Yeah. And then he's getting like teary eyed. And I'm just like, now I'm just getting embarrassed. And I'm like, dude, you're fine. They're going to warm up. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, we can hang out. So then everybody else gets walked back to the ski lift. The, we stay with this one guide in this little hut waiting for his, you know, for little Precious to get his hands warmed. Yeah. And I'm like making fun of him. Like, mm. he, <laughs> and, yeah, you're grabbing him for him, like, <laughs> like blowing right, on right. him. Does that feel better, little baby? Right. I was saying things like we have a little alpha male joke uh-huh. about being alphas. And, and I was saying stuff like I'm, I'm, I asked the guide. I'm like, is this common in uh, beta males? <laughs> is this common in like weak individuals? I'm like, I just, I would like to relate, but just my superior genetics mm-hmm. make it impossible for me to care about somebody whining about something. I've like only this. Uh, witnessed uh, weak ass shit right, like this. I've, right. I've never personally. I've, never, I've, I've, ex- I've seen it in others, you know, <laughs> in like, a, like uh, cry babies around things. me a little bit. <laughs> so we're, we tease a lot in the family. We're teasing him. <laughs> And then uh, his hands start to swell up a little bit, and then he can't bend his fingers very well. Oh. And I just have this—I had this sad, crazy thought of like, what if he? This Squeeze is some him. crazy thing that like is going to kill him. And his last moments on Earth of his dad be like, "Oh, beta male, little fucking right. baby." The like last that's thing he, he remembers is you asking a stranger if this is beta ma- male shit. Right. <laughs> I felt like such, at him. such a fucking monster. And he just blacks out. <laughs> we, looked it, we looked it up. It's called chillblains. Chillblains. And it usually it can happen in teenagers. I mean, when I, thanks, thank God for Google because Googled it. It's common and it's like. Basically, uh, don't worry. Nothing bad is probably going to happen. It's this crazy thing where when your hands get really cold, if you warm them up too fast, it's some kind of nerve overreaction okay. and all the little capillaries that had gotten shrunk, they like expand too quickly and it just causes swelling and it goes away in like 10 minutes. Oh, all right. And it basically just says like, don't keep putting it under like hot water or anything because you can get an extreme cases like tissue damage. Okay. He was fine 10 minutes later. Whew. But I felt like a real dummy for just mocking him in front of a, a stranger who probably like left it's, thinking like that poor kid <laughs> with his abusive father. He, he he was about to call the cops. He was about to call, yeah, the cops, he, CBS, somebody. He's like, should I do it? <laughs> and on that same trip, another dumb thing. And this, I, I felt maybe more dumb about this. Monroe got these new rain boots. And uh, she gets re- very excited about things I wouldn't care about. Like the like the rubber ones with rubber fancy, ones. fun designs on them that like uh, everyone kind of wears? Yes, like that, but but uh, with no fancy, all pink. Okay. But same concept. Yeah. Yeah, like the c- cute little rainbow. Like boots. Curious George looking things. Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. And I would never get excited, I don't think, as a kid even about a rainbow. So I'm like, why is she so excited about these? Mm-hmm. But she really wants to uh, wear them on the snowmobile adventure. And like when we're leaving the house, you know, getting ready. And I'm like, No. I'm like, you're going to freeze. Those are not snow boots. Those are rain boots. Put your Sorrells on. That's what those are for. And what, if she, you, what if your hang up wasn't actually just if they were going to be good or not? Yeah. You just thought they were ugly. Just thought they were stupid looking? Yeah. No. Listen, I get that you like them, but everybody else thinks they look so fucking stupid. All right. You're the color of your snowmobile? You think, that's, you think that pink's going to go with it? Come on. Unbelievable. Everyone's going to mock you. you. Embarrass the whole family. Again. Again. <laughs> just like last snowmobile. Just, just like every time. We didn't even get to go last time because your boots were so fucking ugly. Okay. But, but Monroe, when she really wants something mm-hmm. and then she doesn't, this is so such a weak parenting thing. I will just weigh this thing as like, is it worth me pushing knowing that tears are coming? Oh, man. Yeah. Or do I just let go of it? And in this situation, I thought about pushing and then Lindsay was kind of on her side. Oh, she's so excited. I'm like, fine. I'm like, but don't complain about your feet getting cold. <laughs> well, then sure enough, 
halfway through the snowmobile, she's fucking crying uh-huh. because her feet are freezing. What? Because she's wearing snow uh, fucking rain boots <laughs> that are not insulated in 15 degrees. <laughs> in like in like uh, chest deep snow. <laughs> right, right, yeah. exactly. Who knew? Uh, so I just felt like an idiot then. <laughs> Great for puddles. Bad for uh, hiking in the snow. <laughs> and, and on top of that, I messed up. Didn't hear Lindsay when we were packing. Forgot to bring Lindsay's boots. Whoops. So right before this, to back up real quick. We had to go to Walmart on the way to the snowmobile place to get uh-huh. some pair of boots. It was the only <laughs> store, you know, kind of nearby. They were sold out of like everything. It was weird how many things they were sold out of. Uh-huh. Sold out of all their women's boots. They had all the girls' boots were gone. They had a few little boy boots. And in the max little boy size, Monroe, uh, Lindsay can kind of get her feet into them. <laughs> and they were like $15, like the, just the basic, yeah. your most basic little kid snow boot that you're going to throw away in three months. <laughs> They'll fall apart, yeah, very and soon. And they looked ridiculous, like weird <laughs> colors and stuff. So Lindsay's wearing little kid boy boots. Monroe has uh, <laughs> rain boots. Uh-huh. Halfway through, they switch because Monroe's balling. Uh-huh. So now Monroe has little kid boy boots and <laughs> Lindsay has weird little pink boots for her thing. And then by the end of the trip, she's angry because her feet are freezing. Monroe's still sad and fucking Kyler's whining about his hands. <laughs> And I didn't handle any of the situations appropriately. So Kyler was on your... You should just push them off. He was on my the snowmobile. snowmobile. Mm-hmm. Just, the, the, the classic, the classic <laughs> I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> right. Just push him off. Be back to get you in a little bit, beta bitch. <laughs> and, then, and then he loses his hands <laughs> from frostbite. Well, you shouldn't have fucking cried. Well, then he'll never be able to uh, go and... Like, he, he won't be driving the snowmobile anymore. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> He's out. He's out forever. <laughs> well, yeah, that's good. So it, was, it was a big pile of dumb. I think a lot of uh, parents can relate to that one. Uh, just with the whiny kids, you don't uh, know if it's serious or not. Right. Um, Ezra had yeah. that happen with his his ski boots, where oh, yeah. we got them we got them fitted. Yeah. And they fit fine. Mm-hmm. But there's like three months before, and he's just he's, oh, he's growing huge growth spurt right now. Okay. So everything's supposed to fit. We take him up on the mountain, and he uh, we put him on. He goes, oh, he goes, they're really tight. It kind of hurts my toes, and I'm like, yeah. The ski boots, like they're really tight. Like, that's how, that's how they are. Right. I mean, they've always just, you know, been yeah. not happy about putting their feet in ski boots. Right. So okay. it's another, another year. <laughs> so he's like, oh, and then like we're going and then we're on the chairlift together. And he's like, my feet hurt. Like they're, like they're really squished in my snow boot. And I'm right. like, they're, they're supposed to be squished in there. Like they're keeping them you know, nice and safe and warm and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And by the end of it, he's like, my, like, <laughs> it's like the afternoon. He's like, ow, my foot. It really hurts. And so we get it and we take it off and his foot's just covered in blisters. <laughs> like, and his toes just, are just like, just you can tell there. they've been smashed in like those, uh, that one tribe that smashes your toes into tiny moccasins or whatever <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To shape them into weird things. Yeah. It was like that. Uh, um, and we felt so bad. Me and Aaron uh, just looked at each other. We're like, oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> and for people who don't have kids, because Joe and I were talking about this mm-hmm. before. You can sound like such a monster with these stories, yeah. B- unless you understand the backstory of them whining about a thousand other things, <laughs> where they really were just being whiny little babies. Yeah, and so it is like you were saying I'm earlier. I'm tired. Mm-hmm, yeah. The, what do you say? The the boy who cried wolf. It's oh, that yeah. classic thing mm-hmm. of yeah. I feel bad that I didn't take you seriously this time, but you brought this shit on yourself. <laughs> it's kind of your fault by crying about so many fucking things before this that led to this moment. <laughs> it's a big life lesson <laughs> right? that if you want people to actually care <laughs> right? when you need them to care. You can't pretend like everything cares all the time. I picture you and I having, matters all the time. I picture you and I having this conversation where like you have a kid with no feet <laughs> and I have a kid with no hands and we're like, you know what? They <laughs> they brought that shit on themselves. <laughs> oh, you know, people oh. can, people can point fingers. <laughs> right. Oh, you kid well, your, your kid can't. Your kid can't. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hey. <laughs> and it's like, but you know what? It's fucking the classic lesson. It was a classic boy who cried wolf. I'm not going to lose any sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's, that's fun. <laughs> you ready uh, to move on to Dumb Dumb Idiots? Yes. All right. Let's, let's go there now. <laughs> dumb. 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 Idiot. That's a fun, <laughs> fun world that I want to live in. Uh, this first story was sent in by a ton of dummies. Oh, okay. And it's just a lesson and don't try to make up your own way to ingest drugs. <laughs> Magic mushrooms grow in man's blood Whoa! after injection with the shroom tea. Whoa! <laughs> Growing in his blood? <laughs> yeah. I'm fascinated. It's bad. Um, he did have, he was dealing with some bipolar stuff and stopped okay. taking his meds. And then, I don't know why, just don't ever... How is this physically possible? Okay, so a man brewed a tea from magic mushrooms and injected the concoction into his veins. Several days later, he ended up at the emergency department with a fungus growing in his blood. The man spent 22 days in the hospital with eight of those days in the intensive care unit 
where he received treatment for multiple system organ failure. Damn. Now released, he's still being treated with long-term, uh, what's that, regimen? Regimen, yeah. regimen of, Oh, yeah, sorry. A long-term regimen of antibiotics and antifungal drugs, according to the description on the case published back on January 11th. So the case wow. did not reveal whether injecting shroom tea can cause persistent psychoactive effects, as sometimes seen with people ingest the fungus orally. As yeah. you and I have both done, yeah. Uh, they wrote, uh, the doctors wrote a report. For example, in rare cases, people can develop a condition called hallucinogen-induced persisting perception disorder, where they experience vivid flashbacks of their trip long after the fact. Which I bonus last time I did it, I remember that. That's one mm. of my favorite things about taking mushrooms. You get little, you get little freebies like later. At, like months, months yeah. later, you, I'd look at the sky and be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I remember those clouds. Mm -hmm. They kind of did that thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but maybe happy uh. and remembered all that." So. Uh, they didn't think it was it was tied to that. So anyway, <laughs> he uh, he he decided to just make the tea, put it in, really mess things up by injecting the shrooms shrooms into his bloodstream. The thirty huh. year old patient had hoped to relieve symptoms of bipolar disorder uh -huh. and opioid dependence. Okay, according to the report, his family members noted that he had recently stopped adhering to his prescript or his prescribed bipolar medications uh -huh. and was cycling between depressive and manic states. Wow. It basically. Went into his bloodstream and absolutely took over and just poisoned his entire body. That, yeah, that's that's nuts. That like uh, don't do that. There must have been growing in like the most minute of ways. But that, that's fascinating that it could like on any level mm -hmm. uh, live on and not only live on but like grow somehow. Even if it's just like like a, almost like a microscopic level, right inside his blood. Yeah, it, uh, it, it said so that he, he went from he injected it uh, and then he just started getting really lethargic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he basically just like collapsed and started vomiting blood. Jesus. So it, it, it really... Don't do that. Don't do that. What a bad move. And that is a, that is a dumb thing. I mean, I mean, obviously it's sad, like the mental illness. So we right. understand like, but, but like in general, you know, when people do creative, like, like ingest drugs in new creative ways, mm -hmm. probably just don't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, it's already risky enough in some ways, depending on what hard drug you're using. Obviously there are risks we all know about, mm -hmm. but then when you add to those, like, I'm going to stick it in my eyeball. Right. It's like, well, maybe, maybe you shouldn't do that. And I'm guessing that because we've heard, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, at least I have, uh, have read reports, and I'm sure you have as well, of just how the like the psilocybin would has is like an actual real treatment for depression. Oh yeah, so no, they've he, done clinical he, trials. Where he, that, he read online, right? He might have. Yeah. I mean, he, he didn't say that he did, but yeah. I mean, that's been going around heavier and heavier yeah. over the months. So I'm guessing he caught an article, yep. or heard it from a friend, mm -hmm. uh, and then just decided he was going to go into the bloodstream with it. Yeah, and to, don't do that. Like that's yeah, the, don't that's come up the with goal. your own form of treatment. <laughs> that's the goal of the show. I right, go go do shrooms, do whatever drugs you want to do. Right, just do them the way you're supposed to. Do them like a grown up. <laughs> do them like a grown up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> was that from the UK or Australia or something? Because no. I was, was that US. Because sometimes when they had like I saw that word like regimen, but it was spelled differently. Right. I find that sometimes I'm like, where is where did this happen? Oh man, some English speaking country, but I mean, not. It, it could it could have if it, if it did. I never caught it when I read this article. I just noticed it like every once in a while they'll be like. <laughs> off spellings of this and like what why are they spelling the oh because they're uh, in south africa or something, i huh? see i see that's um, that yeah. is oh well, i mean i kind of see i guess I, the logic though too i mean still like don't don't do that i mean right. i mean shooting up in general has always terrified me and that, i mean maybe it shouldn't scare me more than like snorting something i think yeah but i've never shot anything up yeah neither and have i partially because that seems just terrifying to me mm -hmm. and then you read like those horror stories about like they shoot it in their you know wrist or whatever or their you know in their crook of their elbow there right. at first and then you know uh 2 years down the road they're like literally shooting it into their dick or their eyeball or it's like in between what their the toes. fuck yeah, yeah. exactly it exactly just, it just uh escalates mm -hmm. real quick yeah so don't uh, don't do that don't do that if that's something that you've ever thought or hear somebody talking about doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, don't do it. Yeah, d don't be a drug pioneer that way. Don't be like, <laughs> I've never heard of anybody shooting this into my veins huh? or into their veins. I'll just, I'll try it. What could go wrong? <laughs> and I guess you said, he said off his uh, medic medication, right? Yeah. Oh man, that's like, I mean, I think that goes without saying, like take your meds, but like there's a reason that they were given to you. Mm -hmm. But what's so frustrating about, and I guess just sad about that is I feel so bad for people when they're struggling with mental health things. It's like, because people can say like, oh, you should just, you know, just stay in your meds. It's like, yeah, but the brain is telling them to get off their meds <laughs> because that the Med meds that are there for them because their brain says shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. It, 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 I mean, a lot of people just, they don't like it. What the, like the effect of oh, that too. Like it just That's makes sad. them feel the side effects are terrible. The side effects. Yeah. Or it just Ugh. really feels like they're dumbed down. 
Um, and then when you get off it, you make tea of shrooms and then shoot it and you just, yeah. I just felt like being like, like if I was just the dumbest person ever and then I just go on this tirade, I'm like, you guys, seriously, just don't be mentally ill. <laughs> just don't, yeah. Like, I just don't get it. Just, just, uh, totally tone deaf. Like, I'm, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't uh, think I'm mentally ill. Right? And so just look at me and be like, well, he's not, I can do it. <laughs> yeah. And just don't do it. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> Duh. Can you imagine having that kind of person as like a parent? Yeah. Listen, son, I know you think you're struggling with some stuff, and I don't. I don't doubt that you are. But look at me; I'm not. Right. So just don't. Right. <laughs> that might be the best parenting advice I've ever heard. Uh, you back on the motor, or back on the uh, snowmobile. Right. Like here, like you take Kyler's gloves off. You like feel my hands. Feel how warm they are. Make your hands warmer. Why do you have hands like that? <laughs> just don't. Just somebody stop. Your, make your hands not cold. You, you're weak. This is why I'm frustrated with you. Like <laughs> right now, like you're sick, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't feel good. But I'm not. <laughs> I, and so I'm not sick. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not hassling you because I feel good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you're hassling me by not feeling good. And that's fucked up. So, so what does daddy always say? Just don't. <laughs> Just, Just don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad? Come on, say it. <laughs> it's like throwing up. <laughs> Just don't. Just, you, okay. You get, okay. You can pat him on the back. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You got broken collarbone? <laughs> ah, good boy. I'm just picturing so many horrible scenarios. <laughs> like he's out in the backyard, fucking like bleeding out of like some crazy multi fractured leg. Oh, dude. <laughs> look at. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, tension here. <laughs> look at my legs. Look how they look. Mm -hmm. Now look at your leg. It's fucking different, right? Mm -hmm. You're in a lot of pain, right? I'm not. <laughs> just don't. No, just don't. Let's walk back in the house. <laughs> Do like a little jump, like the sideways <laughs> skip where you kick your, like the Side, heel click. Click, click, click my heel. <laughs> click in stop. the air. Come on, thanks, snap. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. I'll remember that. I'll just don't. <laughs> um, this next story for Dumb Dumb Idiots was sent uh, in by Squirrel O. I'm okay. guessing maybe not Birth his real name. name. Oh. But I'm not sure. And this is uh, just a, a post. You can bring this up on the screen here, Zach. This was a long time ago, but it was posted on the, like the Yahoo has like an answers form. And this was posted in there about a decade ago. <laughs> Can you make a male babysitter pay child support? <laughs> I'm a single mom going to college with my sister. We currently rent an apartment together. A couple weeks ago, I asked my neighbor, a trustworthy guy, if he could watch the kids for two hours while I went to class and my sister wasn't home, and he agreed. If he babysits and doesn't accept pay, can I sue him for child support because he took on the fatherly role? I'm sure I can convince the court that he accepted a fatherly role. That is so what? beyond fucked up if that's true. <laughs> and you know, at first I wanted to think like, that's got to be a joke. And I'm like, I bet it's not. I bet you it's not. Because there are people out there mm -hmm. who are just that scheming where they're just all, always thinking they can just get shit from other people. <laughs> like, that's so that's so dirty. I, that poor neighbor. Like, uh, like, from being a nice guy. Imagine you sitting there uh, and he's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> like he just, and he just opts in. So right. now he's the, the kid's dad. <laughs> Just why? What? After a few weeks, can you imagine like getting a bill from that? Just like uh, you owe me some child support. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> goes, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not the kid's dad. Free. I don't care. Yeah, you're his dad now. You're his dad now. See, look, you, like, you, you look him over the kid. And he goes, Dad, Dad. Like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> But that neighbor, oh, that's so sad. For whatever reason, um, I do. I picture him as like the like the guy who's you know super stoned all the time, playing mm -hmm. video games, like the like, you know whatever, just right, dirty right. kind of shirt from some snacks. <laughs> and she knocks on the door. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. No problem. And he just like goes over there. He has a portable, you know, Switch Nintendo thing. Sits with the kid for two hours, and then he's his dad. If if he's that <laughs> laid back, maybe she should just ask him. <laughs> right. Just just show up. And be like, hey. <laughs> Hey Jack, you owe me um, you owe me two hundred fifty dollars for child support. All right, oh, cool. Man. Yeah, no, there's a, a cookie jar on the counter. I got some cash in there. Whoa, how'd that happen? Whoa, dude, that's crazy. Well, I love you. <laughs> can you imagine that guy who's just, just so, so fucking laid back and disconnected? You can just talk him into anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, man, you uh, you owe me hundred bucks for that bet we had yesterday. Like you didn't even talk to him the day before. <laughs> oh no, fuck. Right. All right, bro. Well, yeah, man, that's on the counter, dude. Wow, so I can grab it, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I never thought they'd win. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought they win. There wasn't even a game. I never thought they win, man. Wow. He he, just, he never wants to feel like he doesn't know what's going on, he's so he agrees in. to everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, dude, that's pretty fucked up. How yesterday you told me you were gonna give me the keys to that new car, and look at my hand, man. I got no fucking keys here. Oh, Whoa. oh shit, dude. No, man, like, my keys are in my jacket pocket, dude. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, you know I never do that. I'll never. You know I never do that. I never intentionally disrespect you ever. <laughs> come on, man. Come here. Gives him a hug and then slides the keys in his pocket. 
<laughs> ah, man, I want to know that guy. I know. What a great guy. What a great guy. <laughs> but it did get me thinking about, <laughs> from that neighbor's perspective, of yeah. doing something nice yeah. and then getting, you know, ultimately fucked over for it. I don't have, like, a huge example, but I do remember this time that it was over here. It was it was in town, in Coeur d'Alene, and it was at the, uh, like, the Riverstone and Northwest Boulevard uh, intersection. Oh, yeah. Like, probably uh-huh. one of the biggest intersections in town. Yep. And I, I came to it. And there was, I didn't know it was just a lady and her kid at the time, but there was a car that was broken down in the middle. So I pulled up off to the side and then went back out and then helped them push the car out of the... Nice. Good Samaritan. Yeah. So pushed her out and popped her <laughs> and popped her up on the side. And then I was like, oh, you know, are you good? You know, can you get help from here? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Call somebody. And she didn't have her phone because it was charging. Uh-huh. Um, the hotel was right next to it. There's like mm-hmm. a Holiday Inn or something yep, that they were yep. coming out Holiday of. Holiday Express, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so she goes, oh, I, 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 I got to go get my phone. Uh, can you wait here? And she made me, I guess, waited there with the kid I didn't know for probably 30 minutes until she came back with her phone. Weird. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, hey, she trusted me, but she just had nothing. She goes, I can't call anybody. I can't help. Like, do you mind? And I'm like, oh, no, it's fine because the hotel's right there. Yeah. Then it was like, it was dead honest, like 25, 30 minutes. So I'm How just old like, was the kid? Like seven or eight. That's so weird. Mm-hmm. Like I would just never leave my kid with a stranger. Right. But she wanted to, she was super fast. Like she wanted to run in. Uh-huh. So that I was on board at that point. I was like, okay, room and back. Like five minutes. I'm and then sure. she must just she just fucking disappeared. She and ran up back. there. She ran up there. And then if you could have seen what window she was in, she was peeking out the curtain. Like, Please take my kid. Take it. Just take the kid. I left the keys and take the kid. <laughs> just go, 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 go. The car's the not kid. even broken. It's just, it's just are we the bait. Reporting in 48 hours. It'll be plenty of time to get away. Just take that fucking kid. <laughs> do it, do it. I can't raise him anymore. <laughs> the keys are still in the thing. <laughs> She's yelling out there. She goes, I left the keys in there. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Any- anybody could take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't? No, no. Okay. Fuck. Oh, I got a cute kid. You can, you can sell that kid somewhere, you know, for a lot of money. Gotta be worth something. Gotta be worth something. But, that would be a shame. But I, I just... It was just went from, okay, help, push car to being like stranded, could not go anywhere for 30 minutes watching someone's kid in a car. Craziness. Uh huh. That kid was nice. <laughs> I, I got scared to like talk to him though. Uh huh. Because yeah. I was like, eh. uh, what's going on here? I was like, you okay? Yeah. And I just like waited at the car hood. So I wasn't about to do any weird, yeah, like anything. Um, worst thing I've, I've done where I've been nice and then it's backfired on me was loaning a family member a, a decent chunk of money. This is okay. many years ago. And then they just like, they, they're like, oh yeah, we'll have it paid back by, you know, X date. Uh-huh. And then that date came and just went. And as, just never, as, as it does. As it does. Never, never mentioned it. <laughs> and then, so I brought it up and, and it was just real quickly dismissed. It was like, yeah, I'll have it real soon. And then, you know, a couple months later, nothing happened. So that mm-hmm. to me was real soon. And eventually it's like, like the third time I asked for it, like they went off at, on me. And mm. I was at, and I was being very nice. Okay. And, and that was the most outrageous thing. And then I and then I lost my mind. And then I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I help you out and I'm the fucking asshole. And then it was just, you know, a lot of just like, go fuck yourself. Was it like, a, uh, like you asked me, like, Jesus, I'm getting it. Like what? The like third time kind of, it was. Oh, it's the worst. The third time it was. And, and it was, it was like oh. legitimately, not exaggerating, over a year mm-hmm. pa- past the time when they were supposed to have originally paid it back. And not a dollar had been paid back. Uh-huh. And no reaching out. And I just thought that was like, why, why, why would you do this to me? <laughs> like I was the person who helped you. And then, oh, it takes bleh. a lot. It takes a lot to get me mad, but that, I'm just starting to realize it in this moment because yeah. if I tie it back to my pita pit story, <laughs> where I got mad at the guy at the cashier. It was because I was trying to be nice. Yes. And then he made me feel like I was being the fucking dick. Yep. So in this situation, if I lent somebody a bunch of money and then they started being mad at me for asking for money, right? Like I, that, like right there, it makes me mad. I think that's gonna enrage if you if someone doesn't get enraged by that scenario. Uh, uh, no problem, bro. Hey man, it's whatever you need, man. <laughs> yeah, you're just that guy. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I apologize. I should Whoa. have been hassling you for you. Sorry, I mean, I, busy. I, you're right. I was. I agreed to give you the money, and that's on me. You know, I apologize. Do you want some more? I can. I can loan you more. <laughs> you ride anywhere? <laughs> Okay, sit down, man. I got, I got other controllers. Come here, buddy. Like, squ- <laughs> gets it all ready for him. Uh, <laughs> I, I, snacks I would, off the couch. I wish I could give you a little bit more, but I've been paying some child support on this kid. I've been babysitting. And I'm a little strapped for cash right now. I'm a dad. Oh, yeah. I'm a dad, it's man. great. Nah, babysitting like four times. I'm a dad now. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I got to buy a new car. I gave my, I got the one away. I lost a bet. I never thought that team would win. I mean, it's kind of sad. Like, I'm happy to be a new dad, but I lost custody. <laughs> <laughs> and they took my car. And they took my car. Well, I lost my car in a bet. I don't remember making it, but I, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> so I haven't been child support on a kid I don't really know or get to see anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just get this bill. And, uh, like, how'd you, how, how'd I become a dad? Oh, I babysat him one time. Yeah, so that's not how it goes. No. <laughs> no way. Oh, man. 
I don't, uh, I don't play too much Call of Duty. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't know how that worked. I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, the, neither of those were the dumbest things that uh, were found this week. Okay. Then you are going to have a heyday in Apocalypse Pending. Perfect. Let's do it. It's the Apocalypse. Hi. Hi. So a couple weeks ago, we had the cheese wheel racing. <laughs> yes. Remember that? Uh-huh. Sprinting down the hill. So Chasing good. the cheese, cheese wheel, everyone just eating shit. And we watched and, that video a lot outside of the show, <laughs> yeah. over and over. And I'm hoping that you haven't seen this. It has been a long time since I've seen this. Uh, it's sent in by Dummy Matt, and it's Barbie Jeep Racing. Uh, Bar- it's brought into oh, the States. Oh, funny! And it is, it is bad. It's my, as bad as you as you think it is. My sister wanted one of these so bad, she never got one. Okay, well, will she do this with it? Let's just go ahead and bring it up on the screen. Um, so here you go. You can see... <laughs> Uh, it looks like Riggins. It does. <laughs> looks like anywhere in a uh, small town Idaho. There's a couple girls went to high school with. <laughs> I'm sure. not, but... I don't know what they said. But I'm sure it was great. All right. So the point of this, you basically have a bunch of people standing around watching okay. as other people get in these Jeeps. Oh my god, these tiny little tiny little Barbie Jeeps. type Jeeps. <gasps> Very steep hill. And they're going Very down the steep hill. hill. This, this, yeah, for sure is going to end in disaster. It, it always ends well. Come on, watch. flip, 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 flip. Oh, oh, there's rocks. There's uh-huh. lots of rocks. On, oh, <laughs> fuck. Honk, honk. That's me. Oh, is that one guy break his... No, he's just nope, stuck. he's up. So kind of the fun of the game is they have to make oh, the, sure the car gets all the way down to the bottom of the hill. Like, that's how you finish the race. He does have a helmet. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm glad he has a helmet. Yeah, there's, there's ones that don't wear a helmet and they don't wear anything. Really? And they don't wear any clothes, they, clothing. Oh, that guy's dead. Here they you don't, go. They don't wear clothing? They're some naked? Guy, some guy doesn't. Just like that one guy that did the cheese rolling without any clothes on. Whoa. Watch this guy. It's going to end really good Just for going str- Oh, my. He's getting too much and speed. He's getting way too much speed. God. Oh, shit. Yep. And look at the guy behind him. He gets knocked out. Oh, oh my God. Way unconscious. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, Were no. You... How could this have happened? Oh, here. here, here. Oh, my God. He's fine. That's what everyone said. Oh, here's them carrying him off. Who did have think that this could have happened? So to this, this guy made it all the way down. Uh, those are very uh, few and far between. <laughs> but this, uh, they have different ones of these like all over the country. I'm picturing, I'm picturing somebody dying uh-huh. in this uh, race. Oh. oh, just in his shorts. Yeah. And then just... Everybody gathered around because there's a lot of young people here. Yep. And uh, gathered around their you know casket at the funeral. <laughs> yeah. And just how could you give a serious eulogy? <laughs> uh, Brad was taken to. Oh, not, I always go to Brad. I it can't be Brad. Brad. Ooh, <laughs> he's got be. Larry was Larry. taken. There he is. He was taken from us too soon. Mm. Oh, you know he was a he was a good guy, <laughs> and he just he didn't he didn't understand how how steep the, the, the hill was. I just I asked God. God, how could you take Larry? He just was going down the hill so beautifully in his giant Tonka truck <laughs> with his six-inch wheels. And there was a bunch of rocks in front of him. And I was like, that's going to be funny. But it wasn't funny because he smashed his head into the rock. Kind of funny. And it was kind of, it was kind of funny. <laughs> but then it wasn't funny when he's dead. And it makes me question everything about my... <laughs> it's just like the most avoidable. That was like a, that's a Darwin Award waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, I want to see one nah. one more good one and okay. then nice one. To, um, and then we can get out of here. One more solid smash. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see if these guys do it for us. And again, we'll have this video link in the episode description. Man, this would be a good way. Oh my oh. god! Oh. Jesus! Oh. Wow! Christ, dude. Wow! That was that that was crazy. That one guy sma- flew oh, through the other guy's truck. Oh my god! This would be a oh, good way. He popped up. He popped up. Yeah. This would be a good way to elect politicians. I think it would. Oh, this is how wins, we should do it all, whoever, all the time. Whoever wins the race, they're the next. Oh my god, that <laughs> so, is such a funny image. <laughs> I was just picturing Trump and Biden in those tiny little fucking cars, <laughs> the tiny Barbie jeeps. Both it's like so advanced in age, just going down that hill, just fucking wrecked. <laughs> oh, both of them wrecked. And the Biden meme, or not the Biden meme, yeah, the uh, Bernie, uh, Sanders. Bernie Sanders uh-huh. meme, with wearing his, his mittens. With, oh, wearing his mittens, <laughs> sitting in one of those little cars going down the hill. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> so funny. Uh, okay, so that was that was what I found. That's for, good. Yeah, for Apocalypse Pending. I I, th- I think the thing I have coming up in One Star Heroes is, is even dumber than Apocalypse Pending. Do you think so? It's the dumbest one we've done so far. <laughs> Before we get to One Star Heroes, I want to point out that I have been to mm-hmm. the uh, Icebox races in Riggins. Oh, the beer cooler races. Yeah, yeah. Icebox. Yeah, beer yeah. Cooler, exactly. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've watched those many a time. I, I never did them growing uh-huh. up. 
and I, th- I may have said this here before, but then, like when I did this show for a couple years called World's Dumbest, and what was funny is my very first episode, they, they send you the clips ahead of time, uh-huh. or they would for that show, right? and then you write your jokes or whatever, and then go tape them later. Literally the very first clip they sent me was, of, I'm like this tiny little town, 400 people, middle of Idaho. They sent me a clip of the Riggins Rodeo. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit, I have fucking been there. I'm surprised I'm in this clip. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah, very similar to that where these on very steep hill uh-huh. and and they just get up, they sit on just beer coolers, those mm-hmm. big igloo with, with the wheels on one side. Yeah. And they try to ride them down the hill. And I mean, people, you know, break bones every single year. Yeah, it's not, a, yeah, there's, a, there's always an ambulance just waiting at the bottom. Yeah, there's always, it, there's, <laughs> that and then there's fights that break out because people below get hit by the people going down the hill and they don't they don't like that and there's oh there's crazy <laughs> brawls yeah the last before the pandemic 2019 I remember my mom talking to me I think like 20 people got arrested some insane drunken redneck brawl and the best thing that happened in Riggins that entire year <laughs> very exciting <laughs> all right now we can move on to one star heroes I get no respect in real life always am upset so I let them know I hate them only what do you got for me, Danny boy? Well, I have one that was sent to our attention by one of our dummies. Okay. Anthony Schiano sent this in. He found this. So, uh, so it's going to be a slideshow presentation rather than bounce on the website. Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous to me. People have gone to the Yelp app uh, on the Apple App Store. And right. they've reviewed the app, but they were, well, they're leaving a review <laughs> on underneath the app reviews. Okay, okay. But what they're actually reviewing is a business they found on Yelp that has nothing to do with the app. And just the links you have to go to to not understand this. Like, I, it's just so confusing to me that literally anyone would do that. It has uh, uh, 390,000 ratings. Right. As of this uh, screenshot, it's number nine and, you know, the food and drinks. It's a huge editor's choice, like award-winning app. This is the Yelp app itself. And I guess there's so many of these one-star reviews. It's that the 4.1 rating. It's it should be like at least a 4.5, <laughs> but it's dragged down by people randomly reviewing the app instead of the business. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, and to it's me, such a, a it's a classic. To me, that's like ordering something. Like you get something delivered to the post office. You have a PO box, mm. and you didn't get the item you wanted. And then so you go to the post office <laughs> yeah. and scream at the post office employees that why doesn't my toaster work? Yeah, or if they had an app. You'd go on there right. and yell, like, yell at them. This, for, this toaster never worked exactly like it was uh, supposed to work at all. This isn't the chair I ordered. What the hell, post office? <laughs> right. But these people haven't even connected. They don't even mention Yelp. They just yeah. don't fucking get it. <laughs> and what's crazy to me is you have to download the app. Then you have to go back to the app store, leave a review for the app. And, and, and no part of this process is any business other than Yelp itself mentioned. Mm. So here's here's some examples. Mm-hmm. This is... Uh, <laughs> um, the, on, on the Apple Store or the App Store, they don't actually name the reviewer. So uh, you, don't, you just... Oh, no, I guess you do. I'm sorry, you do. It's just uh, O-N-W-J-B-S-D. It's whatever. It's nonsense. It's that guy. Uh, absolutely would not recommend. One star. <laughs> I booked an ortho appointment a week ago. Today I received a call. <laughs> they will not keep my appointment because I haven't seen a general dentist in Alaska. I did see a dentist before moving here. My husband is military and have been told I need to see an orthodontist. Now after I jump the mom hoops to find childcare and take time off work, the <laughs> office is calling me saying I can't be seen till I see a general dentist. So they want me to get the general dentist's opinion before they see me? Are they not professionals in this office? I just love that no matter how valid her cl- uh, complaint may be about this place, she looks like a fucking idiot <laughs> yeah. in this context <laughs> no, it's it's, show, it's showing up to a, like just the wrong pep assembly <laughs> it's right, like right. i don't know like you're going in there and you're uh, not, you have some huge like cheer mm-hmm. or complaint like you're mm-hmm. rooting like no go trojans and right. like that's not even their fucking mascot right. like it's just the exact right the exact thing just in a uh, te- technology form yeah exactly yeah, exactly just, they're There's, going to the wrong spot they're so out of touch it's like it's like this person uh is dressed up in like uh you know kansas city chiefs gear <laughs> And they've gone to the Ticketmaster headquarters in a different city, being like, "Go, Chiefs! Go! I'm at the Super Bowl." No, right. you're in the Ticketmaster headquarters. This is where you bought the ticket from. Uh, but scary. the game's the game's in Tampa Bay. Uh, go, Chiefs! Yeah. Okay. Let's go, Chiefs! <laughs> you have to get the fuck out of her office. Right. You're in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> uh, so this next one is from nonsense letters and numbers. Mm-hmm. Shipley Donuts in Jacksonville, Florida. One star. <laughs> 
Jacksonville recently got a Shipley Donuts. I've been uh, to several in the Dallas area. I was looking forward to this new edition of Donut Choices in the area. Went shortly after they opened, but was disappointed. Mm. Went this morning and the intent to get treats with the intent to get treats for my wife mm. and church staff, and I did. <laughs> it's just so much about uh, uh, d- details about his life. I know. <laughs> I, and I, I run a little bit late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kids, uh, as they do, I couldn't find uh, both shoes. I found yeah. one shoe, so we put the other one. Like, we just went the boots. We went the boots for my son. He doesn't really <laughs> like them. Uh, so now I'm going to be pretty late for work. I want to get some donuts. Yep. He's like, come on, man. It's amazing how many people are just terrible storytellers. <laughs> and I love when you see it in poor review form. It's like, none of this fucking matters. Just, just what stick, to, to, stick to the fucking donuts. <laughs> right. Listen, <laughs> now, I remember 15 years ago, I went to one in Dallas. on a great time. We were at my brother's wedding. Now, <laughs> right. at my brother's wedding, my dad was supposed to give him some money. <laughs> oh, get ready for this. <laughs> right. My dad didn't give me money. And then he had to borrow money from me uh, for the tuxedo. <laughs> and anyway, two years later, I'm in college. Right. <laughs> it's like... When is this time? But I'm amazed how many people do this in real life. Uh-huh. Where my brain like, get to the fucking point. You know, the the the, the <laughs> sign that tells me that I'm going to be like uh, listening to a shit story. Right. This one's like a, it, it, at least from guys. Yeah. They always mention like a point in time and say like, oh, I, was, I was dating a girl at the time. I was, I was dating a girl at the time. And they're like, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's right. And they always, and it, and it happens all the, I don't know, way more than I ever thought. Yeah. Where if they, they say the point in time and then they always reference like they were dating like a, a girl at the time. I don't know if they're trying to sound cooler, <laughs> right, but then right. they go into some bullshit about her. He just mm-hmm. wanted to talk about them mm-hmm. and what they were doing. And I was like, why are we doing this? <laughs> Where's this going? Please stop. I just want, I, you were just trying to explain to me why you forgot your wallet. What does it have to do with the girl you were dating at the time? <laughs> exactly. So then he goes, prices are exorbitant and overpriced. Donuts were a major disappointment when I get home with my coffee. Wow. No taste or consistency difference in the bear claw. No almond flavor or nuts. <laughs> Old fashioned cinnamon roll. Little cinnamon. No distinctive <laughs> flavor. Or regular cinnamon roll. Doughy. Very sugary. Overall, major disappointment. I will not be returning and will not recommend Shipley's in Jacksonville. Well, thanks for letting everyone at Yelp know, you <laughs> fucking moron. Right. I don't like anything in my life as much as this guy likes donuts. <laughs> I know. Like, not even a single thing. That's another thing about the one star. They're so picky half the time. <laughs> where it's like, geez, you put a lot of emotional weight <laughs> yeah, into up. this one box of fucking donuts. It was me, what? $9? Right. Me and a right. donut shop. Uh, you hear the door like bell open. I go, yeah. oh, donut. Right. And then whatever they give me, I'm like, good, good. And then exactly. I get in my car and I leave. Oh, exactly. It's, it's like, it's all squishy and it's just so much sugar. I love donuts Bye, too. Bye, guys. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's I it. love donuts. I have been, I have bought most of my donuts the, over the course of my life at, at either gas stations <laughs> or grocery stores. Uh-huh. And I've never once just like walked outside, fucking threw it in the trash. <laughs> like, Ugh, you can barely taste the maple flavor. I felt the sugar to dough ratio was just a little bit too generous. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Like I've eaten stale donuts. <laughs> That have been at my house. I, I, I bought them four days ago, and I'm like, "That's as hard as a rock," but it's pretty good too. Still pretty good. It's, it's like a hard, a, harder donut. That's a tasty as rock. <laughs> it is. Uh, another one, quick one: almond chicken too rough to eat. You know, again, nonsense. Uh, not the right place. <laughs> Cox Services. Mm. One star. I'd been a Cox subscriber for years, for good and bad, and believe. M- believe me, most of it was bad. <laughs> most recently, I tried canceling my service because I was moving into a new home and CenturyLink offered the same, if not, this is again, too many details. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, it's <laughs> shit. Same, if not better services for $12 less a month. <laughs> well, every time I tried to cancel my service, I was giving the runaround and was told to go into a Cox store site. It reminds me of the time I was dating this girl, <laughs> Sheila. Right. It was 18 months ago. It was Miami, Florida. Now, she had just moved there from Delaware, if I believe. Uh, if I remember correctly. Her couch was really ugly. Her couch was really ugly. And her mom, don't even get me started on my mom. Let me tell you a few things about her mom. <laughs> so she just goes on and on. I'm a medical provider. None of this has to do. Oh. And this was challenging. And then finally, Cox called me because they had a request for new services at my old address. What the fuck are you trying to say? And then they finally canceled my service. Four days after it. <laughs> after it had billed, and then they proceeded to tell me that I would be responsible to pay the build amount due because I didn't call earlier. Uh, it, it sounds like they were right. right. Good riddance, abs. I don't know what he meant to say there. <laughs> Just be cautious when you use Cox. They're always trying to make more money for nothing better. I'm surprised you didn't make a Cox. And what does that even mean? They're always trying to make more money for nothing better. Okay. <laughs> a cliffhanger. It's a very vague... <laughs> Listen, I was I was moving, and I was I guess you know I, I told my landlord, and my landlord didn't tell Cox, and then I got out of there, and then they billed me for three days, and he's, again he's like the donuts. What? Okay, you have to pay seventeen dollars because you didn't notify them in time. It sounds like that last line. It, it sounds like something that really should make sense, and it doesn't. Right, right. <laughs> Get billed for things and nothing better. It's that's like his um, <laughs> walking out the door and slamming it moments. <laughs> and another thing. 
you're always trying to make more money for nothing better. <laughs> and then just slam the door. Like, and then he just walks off cocky, like, fucking told in. That was like a fucking movie moment. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? And then the last one just says, disappointing. I'd give negative star if I if we had option. Mm. My pillow is good for the first month, but after, <laughs> <laughs> but after that, be ready to wash and hot dry once a month to get fullness back. <laughs> and if you don't buy from website, but instead from a big box store, my pillow doesn't stand by warranty. <laughs> <laughs> and again, they're on the Yelp app. Which no, is, yeah, they're on the Yelp app. <laughs> Just that concept alone kills me. Uh, and these, they're, just, they're so <laughs> lost. They're just wandering around in the technology world for anyone to find them and listen to them. <laughs> they don't know where they're going. Right, right. I guess yeah. like walking around like in a, like an empty space. It's like, my pillow is not hard enough. Anybody, my pillow is not hard enough. <laughs> they're just trying to find something. Uh, they where to go. That's a hilarious visual. <laughs> um, just somebody like, I pictured when you said the electronics, like somebody like a Best Buy or like a Fry's <laughs> Electronic, just w- aimlessly wandered around the store and any human they run into, most of which are customers. <laughs> now listen, I need someone to take me. And then the person's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> okay. No one here cares about their ratings, I guess. <laughs> but but he's in Best Buy and this the guy is talking about his orthodontist appointment. Right. right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's a guy carrying his pillow around Fry's Electronics. It's, not, like, it's not hard enough. You tell me. <laughs> I put it in the dryer to fluff yesterday and look how flat it is. <laughs> anyway, come on. <laughs> it's first it's the donuts. Now it's my pillow. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. That was, that was fun. That was funny. <laughs> I want to dive in more. I want to find more people that are just in the wrong spot. It kills me. Uh, just to be uh, that into it. Yeah. And <laughs> it, 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 oh, it, the better reviewed it is, like the funnier it is to me. Right. Like the more time they put into it. Right. In such the a wrong, waste of time. In the wrong spot makes it that much funnier to me. And, and just the Yelp people that are filtering through this being like, Jesus Christ. Right. We can't. We've tried to idiot proof this. Can't win. And we can't. They have to have, they have, to have a whole campaign. They have a whole like full t- <laughs> radio TV campaign that asks people to quit <laughs> reviewing their <laughs> Yelp app. They actually like make commercials. <laughs> just people Yelp like app, that. It's, it's great. And hey, I'm, a- <laughs> hey, I'm Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> and I just want to say when you, when you find a business, <laughs> if you have a complaint about that business, you need to go to that business's site and leave that review there. Don't take it out on Yelp. That's not all right, all right, all right. Just, you know, like whatever, just like some celebrity. Exactly. That was the world's worst fucking McConaughey impression. But like, <laughs> I wonder like in the future how bad it is going to get. <laughs> like we just have to have campaigns for like stop signs. Right. You've seen them. Let's go over what they are. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is what a stop looks like. This is what keep going looks like. Can you tell the difference? Like it's just going to have to get so fucking so basic. dumbed down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, that was fun. That was fun. Um, all right. Well, that's a lot of dumb. Let's turn it around. And this this story for the sliver of hope is so good. It's really it's going to make you happy. Okay. Let's bring it up. Let's do it. Sliver of hope. Just before you get into positivity, I have <laughs> I one last it. thought. I can see it in your you eyes. You see it? Yeah. I just pictured like the worst endorsement. It's me in the future. And it's like, <laughs> hey, I just want to uh, talk about listening and the importance of following instructions and paying attention in life. Uh, this is my son, Kyler. <laughs> now, he doesn't have hands. Just forget about that. Right. <laughs> just like the worst. This, and this is my, this is my uh, friend Joe's son, uh, Ezra. He doesn't have any feet. And it's just like they're just like on the screen. <laughs> it's the just don't campaign. Listen, if you're having problems, just don't. Just don't. Just don't do it. Don't have problems anymore. Don't have problems. Don't have wounds. Don't have issues with apps. Sick ass sunglasses. Slide them on. Just don't. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> and they get sued by Nike. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the guy like leaving the room saying the stupid thing. <laughs> and you know, they're just trying to make more money off of things that aren't even better. <laughs> Just don't. Right. Sunglasses. Fucking door slam. And, and nothing better. For nothing better. <laughs> For nothing better. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> All right. So this... um I mean, it's a heavy topic. Okay, but it is it is such an amazing story, and this is out of a it's out of Florida, and it's from a Florida newspaper. So the opening line says, "A manager at the restaurant here." I just don't want anyone to be confused. Notice that a boy in a, in a family of four seated on New Year's Day had bruises on his face and arms. Oh, yeah. Police said that the man at the table didn't let the boy order any food, and that's when Flavi, uh, Flavani. I'm going, I tried to look Flavane? this up. I don't Flavane? I don't know. Flavane? Flavane Cavallo? Yeah, because Flavane is a name, but Flavane, Flavane E is something different. Anyway, we'll just call her Mrs. Cavallo, decided to step in. She wrote a note that said, do you need help? Okay. 
And she held it up so the boy could see it, but his parents couldn't. And then he nodded no for not being okay. Mm-hmm. A couple of minutes later, I uh, wrote another sign asking him if he needs help. And this is when he nodded yes. Oh, Cavallo told the news conference on Thursday. So Cavallo then asked the owner of the Mrs. Potato restaurant, Raphael Kabid, uh, who agreed Cavallo could call the police. It turned out the boy was a victim of severe child abuse, authorities said. You saved the boy's life, Kabid told Cavallo. It brings a tear to us to think that someone can do that to a child. So the 11-year-old Orlando detectives who had uh, ratchet strap ties around his ankles and neck, and he was hung upside down from the door. Jesus. He also said he'd been hit with a wooden oh broom and handcuffed and tied to a large moving dolly. Well, what a horror scene. Yeah. So abuse, I say lightly, it was torture, Detective Aaron Lawyer said. Lawyer. Uh, what, what's that? Oh, yeah, Lawyer said. Uh, what this child had gone through, like I said, was just torture. Uh, there's no justification for it in any realm. So basically, she risked a lot to just make sure that this kid was okay. The child's stepfather, Timothy Wilson II, was arrested on one count of third-degree child abuse. Investigators said they didn't arrest both parents at the restaurant because, at the time, there wasn't enough evidence. Days later, authorities arrested both Wilson and Kristen Swan. Wilson was arrested on multiple counts of aggravated child abuse and child neglect. Uh, here's a picture of those dumb idiots. Uh and how often does I mean I don't know if it's like your mind framing like not liking them and like uh, putting negative attributes on them but but ninety percent of the time when they bring up a picture of like some pedophile or rapist or like child abuser yeah. I'm like that's exactly who the, who I thought they would look like you know like roughly yeah like it's never like a person I'm like oh he seems like a looks like a really nice dude like that guy just looked like a fucking creep yeah hey, but if, but if the story was flipped and it was saying something super nice. Then would you see those pictures? That I know they were saying, wondering. You're like, oh, I can see them being oh, nice and like doing, doing something nice. <laughs> Him, I don't know, uh-huh. but maybe I wonder if that is. It might just be my brain just like being like, oh, you're just gonna hate whoever. You I don't see. know what's wrong with his face. I don't, is that? I mean, want to bring it up on the Zach on the fucking? I know he's making a very weird. He's like he's like he's mocking the <laughs> the camera person like, <laughs> right? Like, Give him like a pirate impression or something. Uh, I don't know, but they're gonna go to jail, and that makes good. me happy for a long time. But how uh, how bold and brave. Of that waitress. And and how brave of that kid mm-hmm. also. Oh, yeah, for basically for, saying. Yeah, he's risking. Because in that situation, I mean, that kid probably does realize that if he cries for help. Oh, yeah. And he's not taken seriously, the ass whooping he got before is going to be nothing. He's going to be like tortured even further. Killed, right? yeah. he literally might get killed. Yeah. Yeah, so how, what a brave kid and what a brave waitress and the owner. Good good on all of them. For, yeah. Just a, good a, on for the Mrs. Potato staff. A good pairing at, yeah. a, at, a, at a perfect time. Like just both people Ugh. willing to do and take some big risks to, to get them out of there. I'm just glad it worked out. I'm just sorry. I, it's I'm, okay. This is a very serious thing, but because of how we set up the show, mm-hmm. I was just thinking, I want to. I bet their mashed potatoes are fucking incredible. At Mr. Potato? At Mrs. Potato. Oh, yeah. Where, where's Mr. Potato? Well, Mr. Potato's name of the restaurant. Well, I know, but where's Mr. Oh, where's Mr. Potato? Right. Yeah, where's he at? Wait, what if it's just like a, it's a, it's a beautiful marriage. It's a husband and wife. Mm-hmm. And they just have competing restaurants. <laughs> Last name's Potato. Right. They right. Mr. Potato is like on the other side of the street. And they just, and they go, they go mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I love you. They leave business at work. <laughs> they just go to work and just try to kick the shit out of each other's businesses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause they both win. They both win. The better mm-hmm. they both do. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, that, that was a very, very heartwarming story. I mean, like you said, mm-hmm. heavy yeah. series, but like the fact that everybody joined together to, to rescue that kid. Pretty, mm-hmm. pretty awesome. It's very cool. All right, let's take a look at some things that we found on the internet with the to you from internet segment. Sweet. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. Now, Daniel. Yes. We don't have vaginas. No, I don't think so. But if we did, we could get this Perry Fit. Perry Fit. So this is a device that you can put you put in the vagina to do <sighs> Kegels. Okay. And you can play yeah. video games with it. That... It's hilarious. So you remember, like the when Flappy Bird or Flap Bird was, I think it's Flappy Bird. Huh. So you just would you push the screen and the bird flies up and down. I never played that game. Oh. So anyway, you have your finger on the screen. That is hilarious. And it makes the thing go up, and then when you take your finger off, it drops down. Oh yes. So very yes. easy. Yes. Yes. To yes. control. Yes. So basically, when you're tightening and oh untightening, God. you make the device go up and down. And then just so you're just flying horizontally through the screen, trying to avoid like obstacles and stuff. Yeah, squeezing your vagina muscles and uh, a, to get. Oh right. yeah, that is this is brilliant. <laughs> I know. And there's and there's different games too. Like you don't get stuck just playing Flappy Bird. Yeah, uh, that's brilliant for but exercise the concept in general. Is kind of the same. Yeah, like, like they should have more. Um, well, actually, have you seen those ones where they have the like the planking device? 
Hmm. That makes you it lets you play a hang like a hang glider game. No, that's awesome. Yeah. So p- planking, if anyone's like, "What the fuck's that?" You're basically on your elbows and yeah. on your tippy toes, and you just have to hold yourself up for as long as you possibly can until your core wants to leave your body. Okay. Okay. Because it hurts a ton. Yeah. Yeah. So they do that, but they put you on a, a balancing board. And and then, make it fun. And then that's yeah, like a hang gliding game. And you get to steer yourself around on the... <laughs> that's awesome. You try to beat your high score and stuff like that. I think. I mean, that stuff does work. I mean, it's not like a game game, but like uh, the th- thing that's gotten me more into exercise the last um, two months, Yeah. this fight camp thing, they introduced like the, the latest app upgrade. You can compete against other people doing the same right. lesson mm-hmm. and, it show, and your score changes in real time as your fight uh, punch count goes up or down mm-hmm. or you can compete against yourself. I for sure work out harder when I don't want to be like last place when I don't and it competes against the average so when I start going negative I'm like fuck I'm worse oh, yeah. than the average person using this yeah. and I go that much harder mm-hmm. so smart and to, ha- and to have an actual game woven into it mm-hmm. brilliant like they have that with the like, like the Pendleton is that what they're called like the bikes and they have uh, the mirrors yeah. yeah Peloton uh, yeah. Pendleton <laughs> Pendleton whiskey let's get all done if you're on Rocky oh yeah Peloton yeah I just want to get hammered drunk and box some people in your garage <laughs> I win it. High score. So they just, you know, they have like the the competitive boards on all those too, where you're trying to, oh, and you can add smart. your friends. Um, I mean, my Apple oh, Watch does it too. Like you race add, against your friends. Yeah, like <sighs> I add this, and then whenever my wife finishes a workout, right. like make sure to let me know, and it shows yeah. me how many calories and how long, and then basically it challenges you to do the same thing. Oh my god, to get kids, thing, yeah. to get kids in better shape. What if you had a thing for like Call of Duty, all the games? <laughs> <laughs> they'll have something that measures, and if you want to get like, or like a uh, Fortnite, if you want to get the new skin, you know, you can pay thirty bucks. Or you can pay five bucks if you can do 40 push-ups. Yeah. You know, just like these little exercise things woven into it. Or you can just go and load the dishwasher or get out of my fucking house. <laughs> There's sensors all over the house. <laughs> this is how you get the new skin in Fortnite. You have to unload the dishwasher. You have to take out the trash. You have to get all your homework done. Mm-hmm. And you have to do 50 push-ups. Right. That's how you get it. You can't buy it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That's, that's pretty good. Uh-huh. Like you have your own like uh, family currency. Right. For things you do and it keeps track of them and you get to cash in your... There's going to be some version daddy, of that. Your good good daddy points or whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah, you call yeah. them. <laughs> There's going to be some version of that. All right. So this next thing was sent in by Dummy Colin. Mm-hmm. And it's just, uh, <laughs> we haven't visited something that shouldn't cost a bunch of money, but then does in a long time. Okay. So this is uh, some hand-drawn letters. And that's all it is on a normal piece of paper uh, okay. for 50 bucks. Well, you know, good for them if they can get that money. So there's the letter These A. Are terrible. You got some numbers in there too, like the number five. Seven S, you get the idea. It's like I, numbers I want, and letters, and then they're too much money. I wanted to see if any of the prices were different, like randomly for like 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 a Z is a right. little extra. Nope. <laughs> or who? The more popular the letter, like A's are are overcharged. I mean, this the A is that says fifty bucks instead of the thirty nine like the other ones. So maybe the A is the most important. Uh, and th- does it say initialed on the description on the bottom of the description? Does it say initialed? No. Sure on, does. Uh, uh, oh. If you go down, if you go. God damn it! Down, Tell me where down, to go. down. Stop. Oh, initialed. It sure does. Like, in, in, like in, it's an artiste. Right, right. Hey, just so you know, before you <laughs> decide to buy or not buy, it is initialed. <laughs> Whenever I see things like this, I do also remember that people like would spend a thousand dollars on a Kanye West white T-shirt. So, right. Maybe this isn't. But what are you going to do with that? Look, look at <sighs> like it's in your living room. Like this is your marquee. You yeah. spent your life savings on this dude to spell out some kind of wheel of fortune puzzle and it's just on your so, wall, <laughs> and it's just so weird too, where it's not a known artist. That, so <laughs> just, like, it, it's it'd be one thing if you were a huge, I don't know, Jack White or like you know Kanye fan or whatever, right, right, right and right. they did this. I still think it'd be a waste of money, but if it makes you happy, fine. But but there's no story behind it. Oh, so who did that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> G D. Right. Who's G D? That, that's just the initials. I don't know. He's got a eBay. Uh, he got an eBay account. So guy with wow. an eBay account. Whoa! What like what else has he done? Nothing. Uh, other letters. <laughs> yeah, all the letters. He, he, listen, he's done all of them. <laughs> so I, that's impressive. I'm waiting. He does. He does letters. He does numbers. I'm waiting for uh, an exclamation point to finish my piece. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, how much did this cost? Oh, this was this was about eight hundred bucks. Uh, and it says happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get your wife. She'd leave you. Oh yeah. You spelled out happy birthday with. <laughs> get them all framed. Hey baby. I got plans for the house. We're going to redesign the entire aesthetic of the whole house, which is uh, these letters <laughs> it, the from kids, GD off of eBay. Are you some of the kids when they were young? No, no, no. No, it's just a full grown man <laughs> off of eBay. <laughs> How much you spend? $7,000. <laughs> right. Uh, wow. <laughs> I know. I love you. Like you try to like, give her a little kiss. <laughs> she just turns her You're welcome. Turns face. You're welcome. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's it. I, that was enough. Okay. That was perfect. Let's hear from some dummies. Okay. With junk mail. It's junk mail. This first piece of junk mail 
is a doozy. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's got a lot to cover, but we'll get through it because it's worth it. Hey, dummies. Man, I have a lot of stuff for you today. Buckle up, buttercups. So this is a little late to the game, but the John or the H. John Benjamin jazz album, Jazz Day Daredevil that we showed mm-hmm. where he does not know how to play piano at all, at all. and hired a professional jazz band. Uh, but <laughs> working, then, working with session musicians. Yeah, like they were really good, and then he mm-hmm. is terrible. Just making a mockery of their entire genre of music. It made one of the best jazz albums I've ever heard. <laughs> so anyway, that guy uh, reminded me that my husband and I played a lot of Richard Cheese during our wedding reception. Yes, Fun. he also goes by Dick Cheese, so it's music that initially sounds so much classier than it is. One of his covers is of the SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. And when my husband's uncle, who I'd never met before and who was very successful, heard it, he could not stop laughing. Eight years later, and I still giggle about it, look up Richard Cheese's stuff and you will not be disappointed. Here's a link to the SpongeBob cover. And I am actually uh, very familiar with Richard Cheese. I used to listen to him all the time in college. Oh, okay. Um, We're going to play a little bit of the SpongeBob one right here. My favorite one that he does is Disturbs Down with the Sickness. When he's playing, he's like, ooh, ah, 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 (laughs) Like super classy. Yeah, yeah. Here's a... Here's a... Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. Sponge That's great. Bob, square pants. Square pants. Nautical nonsense be something you wish. I love it. Sponge Bob Square Pants. <laughs> square pants. That is that is super fun background music, just like the H. John Benjamin stuff. <laughs> it is. It's very good. Anyway, she goes on. She goes, I had the opportunity to participate in a sliver of hope a couple weeks ago. On Wednesday, January 6th, while still reeling from the cancellation of Caillou, I was understandably a little uneasy (laughs) about what this all meant. I went outside to bring in the garbage and recycling cans, and then the recycling had a note on it. At first, I thought it was a a reprimand from the city uh, uh, since it was the first pickup after Christmas and we were regularly overfilling our recycling. Mm -hmm. But it was not that. The note was from another mom down the street asking if we would be willing to trade our small can for one of the bigger ones. Her little boy, about three, four years old, is obsessed with garbage truck stuff, saw ours, and had to have it. Uh, she left me her number in the note, and I immediately told her that we'd love to trade. He was actually playing with the garbage truck toys when, uh, when I responded. After the trade, I got a picture of the old can in its new home right next to the precious little boy with a huge smile on his face. Now my girls have a new friend to play with when COVID calms down, and I have a new mom friend that is clearly on a similar wavelength as me. That's which adorable. I can relate to a ton, because Ezra is just like... His fan obsession? Yeah, my son um, just loves fans. He watches nothing but how to build motors on YouTube. Uh, You know, he's very interested in how ski lifts work. Like Mm -hmm. just, you know, normal seven-year-old shit. Like that's all he wants. He doesn't care. He's going to be an engineer, mechanic, something. Uh, He already thinks he is. He's like, he'll meet people like, I'm an engineer too. That's awesome. So he is is pumped on it. So I can relate to that, just being, uh, you know, very obsessed about things that aren't usually little kids are obsessed about. He goes, okay, okay, when it goes on. So now for a Christmas present story, picture it. Iowa, 1995. Uh, It was our first Christmas after my parents divorced. I was eight. My sister was six. It was Christmas morning at my wonderful grandma's house. Rest in peace, Pauline. Mm -hmm. And my sister started crying. My dad asked her what's wrong, and she sobbed, Santa didn't come, because no present said they were from Santa. I was already starting to suspect something was up with Santa, but my sister was still all in. So what did my dad do? He quickly picked up a present, ripped the tag off, and said, this was supposed to be from Santa. And that's when I knew he, uh, he did, in fact, forget to stop, or he, Santa did, insta- in fact, forget to stop at Grandma's. It's one of those things where I look back and laugh about in a, Jesus, what a harsh way to find out on our worst Christmas to date kind of way. <laughs> Obviously, I don't hold it against my dad because the divorce was hard on everyone. Don't feel too bad for my dad getting into that situation because he had a history of uh, trying to clear wrapping paper too fast and not checking to make sure all the presents were out. Uh. You ever throwing away something? Mm, no, I have not done that. We've lost a like a hundred dollar gift card before, oh. which I'm pretty sure we just threw in the trash on accident. So that's fun. <laughs> Sucks. Other than that major near unforgettable flaw, he is such a fun grandpa, and it's fun oh. to watch my girls talk his ear off whenever he visits. 2021 is already off to a precarious start with Caillou's cancellation. So thanks for being here for me and making me laugh my ass off every week. Love, Katie. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Yeah, there's a lot that. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. A- <laughs> thanks for sharing some of your life with us. Yes. Makes us all human. You got a good dad. Our next piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Kagan says, Dearest Joe and Dan, I am currently listening to the newest Is We Dumb. And as y'all were talking about the sexual 911 caller, it took me back to a call I personally dealt with. That's where, you know, he's like, hey, what are you wearing? (laughs) 
hey, <laughs> call the cops if you love me. Right, right. That story from a few weeks ago. Uh, to set the background, I'm a paramedic and I have been an EMS for seven years. This call took place a few years ago when I was still an EMT basic. My partner and I dispatched for a person in a backyard moaning. <laughs> no, we never got a description of the type of moaning. We got into the ambulance and head to the address, which is about 10 minutes from us. We pull up on the scene to see law enforcement arresting a young man. He was currently being bent over in front of a cruiser, moaning very sexually. To make things better, he locked eyes with the cops and told them to let it happen. What? <laughs> he was not in his right mind. Uh, you know, so for, for our protocol, we just transported him to the, in the ambulance. As we are putting him on the stretcher, he continues to air hump, just trying to touch everything with his dick and everyone. Once we finally get him into the ambulance, I go to the place where the heart monitor leads, uh, you know, leads on him, mm -hmm. and he lets out the most sexual moan I've ever heard uh, in my life while he's biting his lip. We finally get everything done and transport him over the longest, most awkward call of my career <laughs> and having a grown man look deep into my eyes and tell me to let it happen. Oh God. <laughs> to make things worse or better, depending on which kind of, what kind of person you are, once we get to the ER, he switches to some you know, trip straight out of a horror movie to explain his behavior. It turns out this young man had decided to do shrooms and apparently went into a very erotic trip until he started seeing demons. Oh wow! I hope, you can, uh, I hope you can see the call through my eyes. It was honestly one of the funniest things I've ever been a part of, and is much easier to describe in person. Keep it up, guys! Much appreciated for all the podcasts from Time Suck to Scared to Death. These be dumb. <laughs> Thank you. Keep you. me entertained. Space Lizard, Annabelle, Dummy, Kagan. Oh, thanks, Kagan. I know. Isn't that wild? That is wild. Mm -hmm. That made me think about how, like, I, I, I used to think about these weird loopholes, like what is super uncomfortable but not illegal, <laughs> and just like sexual moaning, like how many, where, what place you get where. Uh -huh. Like everyone knows you're being sexual, but if you don't admit it, you're like, no, I'm just, that's just the sound I make. <laughs> like if you're not putting yeah. your dick on anything, you're not, you're not like, you know, saying anything suggestive, mm -hmm. but you're just like sitting in a, I don't know, dentist lobby. Oh, <laughs> ah, right. you know, making these crazy sounds, but just sitting, but like reading your magazine or whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 mm. oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, sir? So uncomfortable. What? Yes? What? Yeah, what? Well, I uh, can't read a magazine. Oh, is it illegal to make you uncomfortable? I don't think so. I don't think so. There are videos of this uh, of people going around and they moan like sexually in, in strangers' ears. Really? That I've seen. Maybe I should have looked it up. But Funny. It, you talked about that bringing outside of this uh, this story. Yeah. Like in the store, he'll walk up behind somebody and just go, <sighs> like right in their ear. And like they, they just like stop, like turn around and look at him, and he just stares back at him, like steps back a little bit. He's gotten punched. He's gotten chased. He's gotten and some punched. people were like, Wait, "Why?" <laughs> I was like, "Why'd you do that?" And he just I don't know. stares at him. That's it. Doesn't respond to him. Oh my That's god, pretty funny. Now I'm just thinking, like uh, when I was a teenager, like like many teenagers, teenagers, I would be a dickhead by just blasting my music. Windows rolled down. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, like like quote unquote at the time, you know what gangster rap, the NWA type stuff. Yeah, like very uh, profane music blasting it and, and i've never seen this though somebody just driving down the street full volume just playing porn <laughs> but but like not porn where they're um cursing uh -huh. or saying anything maybe just like a solo thing but like if, like if you just played super loud <laughs> of, of, of a guy just beating off <laughs> just like how uncomfortable and nodding your that head would be <laughs> yeah <laughs> nodding your head like yeah oh, fuck yeah <laughs> you're know, bouncing a little Bounce. bit to it <laughs> Uh, that am amuses me greatly. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> All right, let's wrap up this show, shall we? Yes. All right. Thank you to Zach Cohen for creating some of the custom music beds. Thanks to Logan Keith, pumping out the best merch in the podcast game. Zach Flannery, producing, directing. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Is We Dumb. We've got that private Facebook group once again. Just search on Facebook, Is We Dummies. Want to buy some merch? Please do. Please do. Help spread the word. Iswedumb.com and it's also available at badmagicmerch.com. Go to Bad Magic Productions mm -hmm. on YouTube to check out all the shows that we crank out here each and every week. And if you have something you want to see on the show, do what a lot of dummies do and send it our way, and hopefully we can feature it. Dumb at iswedumb.com and general questions info at iswedumb.com. And, and if you're struggling with anything, if you uh, are, are feeling sick, mm -hmm. if you've been injured lately, if you're having like financial troubles, I just want to like, please listen to me. Just don't. <laughs> right. You know, uh, pull, so your, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah. If you take away one thing from the show, just don't, you know, like yeah. you're, you're, what are you struggling with drug addiction? Mm -hmm. Stop. Just stop it. <laughs> Knock it off. You know, maybe you, uh, you know, broke both your arms. Maybe you, maybe you can't move, uh -huh. you know, maybe you have three months to live. Just stop. Stop doing that. Just don't do that. <laughs>
Okay. Do the other thing. Instead. Do, yeah. Just be, do the opposite. I'm fine. Figure out how you want to feel, what you want to do, and do that <laughs> instead. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Look at me. <laughs> Trying to help. <laughs> just Danny boy. Just I, being I, a good dad. I picture that just in gymnasiums all over the country to high school kids. <laughs> You, you, like they, 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 they book you. They don't really know. Then you show up, and that's and that's your speech. The worst motivational speaker. I, I take some poor kid who's like he's he was in a car accident the previous year. He's paralyzed. He's blind. I'm like now oh, look at this. Look at Bill. Look, look what he did to himself. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I guess it was somebody else ran into him, and he was innocent. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Look, look at how he's living right now. And and do you want to have the same kind of you know struggles you have to deal with? Then just don't. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you like, right now. What? Stop being blind. <laughs> right. Start walking. Right. Okay. That's your choice. <laughs> if you want to be stubborn uh-huh. and you want to just see he, what he's doing is just do. Right. And all I'm telling you is just don't just like, don't. it doesn't even make sense. Right. He's just doing it. I'm just don't it. <laughs> and look, and I'm standing here and he's not. So what does that tell you? Right. That, that's when, <laughs> that's when the principal is just fucking like, he's turned off your mic and he's grabbing, you need to go. You they need have, to leave right now. They actually have one of those gigantic <laughs> cane things they've never had to use. To pull you off of the the speak podium, just don't, 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 don't. You're screaming it. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> That's when somebody takes you outside and says, "I'm like, listen, you haven't done anything illegal, but I just want you to know, I'm a former law enforcement officer, and I've arrested pedophiles, rapists, murders. You're the biggest piece of shit I've ever encountered." <laughs> and then you go ah, right back in his face. <laughs> ah, ah. I don't like it. Just don't. <laughs> no. Just fucking get out of here. <laughs> Just get out of our school. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna make you laugh. Okay. This is a wow, meet dad joke. Hey, you wanna hear a joke? Wow, meet dad joke. Sent in by dummy J Bob. Okay. All right. Pew. Okay. Looking at me. Okay. <clears throat> Why did the walrus go to the Tupperware party? Why did the walrus mm-hmm. go to the Tupperware party? Trying to figure this one out. He, tus- he tusked. I don't know. He was looking for a tight seal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good one, actually. That's, you that's, get it. That's a really good one. You get it. Get it? <laughs> yeah. You know why it's funny? Because of the tight seal. Tight seal. <laughs> uh, Are you saying bye? That you was you say bye. I, I was going to say bye. I was trying to think. I just read something before the show <laughs> about Ryan Reynolds, but I can't remember. He was on Sesame Street, <laughs> okay. and somebody tweeted about him. He was This was so funny to me. He was the letter A in one of their little kid sketches, <laughs> and then he just tweeted back. He's like, he goes, thanks. He goes, I, I, I had a really hard time getting, uh, um, what was he? He says, it was really hard to breathe something because the A-hole was so tight, <laughs> oh, yeah. but I just pushed through because I knew so many kids were dependent on me. <laughs> I love Ryan Reynolds. Oh, he's so funny. He's going to be great in person. Okay, now you say bye. Bye. Bye.